I don't usually do unboxing videos, but today I'm going to. Inside this box is something that I have waited to purchase for a very long time. And uh, we're going to show it off, and then you're going to hear it, and then at the end I'll talk about it. So let's take a look. Holy shit. This thing is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, let's get you guys off the tripod. So this is the 14 by six and a half Gretsch USA phosphor bronze five millimeter cast shell behemoth so i picked this up today from the good folks at the drum center of portsmouth in portsmouth new hampshire we're gonna throw it on the kit hear what it sounds like and then at the end i'll talk about it
So I haven't listened back to the recording yet, so I can only assume that this thing sounds as good on the mic as it does to my ear. Um, initial impressions, I think this drum really kind of speaks for itself. It's incredibly sensitive, very dynamic. Um, I've poured over many videos um, leading up to this purchase. Um, and in one of the Drum Center of Portsmouth videos, uh, Shane mentions how um, thick shell drums are not just one trick ponies. Uh, this drum could probably be useful in a lot of applications, which is cool. Because certainly for the price tag, you would hope it would be versatile. Um, it's really heavy, like really heavy. Uh, taking it out of the box so the weight isn't distributed across the box really, like this thing is surprisingly heavy. Um, <clears throat> all the hardware seems good. I kind of don't like how the uh, throw off doesn't have a tensioner on it. The tensioner is on the opposing side. And I'm also a little surprised that for 1600 bucks, this drum comes with plastic straps on the snare wires, but both, you know, the, the plastic straps is easily remedied. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's, there's tons of information out there on these things. Probably nothing that I can contribute new at this point. Um, but this thing is killer. And, um, so now why I chose this drum instead of one of the other heavy shelled alternatives out there. So initially my plan was to do a Duluth drum and I have only nice things to say about John over at Duluth. He answered all my questions. He was timely, polite, professional. Like I couldn't say a bad thing about that guy if I tried. Um, the issue that I ran into was I went on to Drum Factory Direct, started looking at different lugs and throw offs and hardware and stuff and quickly realized that I was going to succumb to paralysis by analysis, i.e. too many decisions or too many choices rather. And um, it was one of those things where it's like, if I'm going to spend a thousand bucks building a drum, I want to put the lugs on it that I want. And I'm not, I hope I'm not going to dislike these lugs in six months because that would require redrilling the shell or whatever. And, you know, I had a, a couple times I spoke with Tony at Drum Center Portsmouth and kind of came to the conclusion that Gretsch, who builds drums, probably knows what I want more than I think I know what I want. And that is to say that this drum is built this way for a reason. These lugs are used for a reason, these hoops, the throw off, and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> rather than inundate myself with all these choices and things like that, let's just leave it to the people that actually build drums for a living. And <clears throat> so that, that was kind of a, a shift in perspective that I needed. And then it came down to, was I going to spend $1,000 on a Gretsch Bell Blast or Bell Brass, or was I going to spend almost 50% more on a Phosphor Bronze for a drum that, for my purposes, probably is going to do the same thing. Um, I have pretty good stuff here, but I am by no means a professional uh, studio technician or what have you. So then what it came down to was... If I was ever going to be in the used market, I look on reverb all the time and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to find 10 Gretsch bell brasses to every one phosphor bronze. And just applying some logic from the Tama bell brass is this thing is going to be pretty scarce because I'm, I'm sure more people buy the bell brass than the phosphor bronze. And I said, you know, let's get, if we're going to do it, let's do it right. Let's get the the Mac Daddy, the heavy shell, the most expensive, the heaviest, whatever you want to call it. And there will always be a Gretsch Bell Brass available use somewhere just because there's so many of them out there. So this thing is fantastic. I've never made a drum purchase of this caliber. I think the most expensive drum purchase I made up to this point was when I bought my PDP X7 kit, which is around... And that was like, I don't know, 13 years ago. And that was like 900 bucks. And this was 16. And um, 
not throwing shade at any other retailers, uh, but Drum Center Portsmouth, just those guys know what they're doing. They're everyone there is super nice and accommodating and friendly and, you know, only, only good experiences when I go there. That's where this used PDP 805 kit came from many years ago. Um, I've bought countless heads and sticks and different things there. So it was a no-brainer going with them for this. So that's it. Uh, day one with the 14 by 6.5 Grex USA 5 millimeter phosphor bronze snare. Uh, no regrets. This thing is kick-ass. And I'm about to go listen back to the uh, clips there that I recorded and see what it sounds like. And um, if you guys have any questions about this thing, please feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to go through and do some snare showcases or something because I've been amassing some kind of cool snare drums over the last two years or so with, uh, with another one currently coming from Germany. So anyway... That's it. Thanks for watching. And um, let me know if you guys got any questions about this thing. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.